Today on Julie Fit, I will talk about sun salutations. There are three different types of sun salutations, classical, sun A, and sun B. But today, I really just want to focus on sun salutation A. So let's get started. You'll begin in mountain pose, feet together at the front of your mat. Hands can come to heart center or down by your side, palms face forward. On an inhale, reach your arms up towards the ceiling. Exhale, fold forward, hands can come to heart center or open wide. Inhale, you'll lengthen your spine, hands either on shins, shoulders draw back, or fingertips down in front of you, lengthening the spine. Exhale, you'll fold forward, step back to plank. You'll shift forward, slowly lower chaturanga, keeping the elbows in towards the body as you slowly lower your chest. On an inhale, reach your chest through your arms, push down with your hands, shoulders draw back, upward facing dog, feet are flat. Exhale, push over your toes, find a downward facing dog. Now usually you'll take three to five deep breaths in downward facing dog. We'll talk a little bit more about downward facing dog in another video. You'll gaze forward, bend your knees, and either jump or step to the front of your mat. I'll show how to jump. Try to bring the hips over the shoulders. Plant your feet down back at the front of your mat. You'll lengthen your spine and fold. And inhale, push down into your feet. Reach those arms. Maybe the palms come to touch and you find a slight back bend. Exhale, hands to heart center. I will now show and teach a modified version of Sun A. Beginning at the front of your mat, feet together, shoulders back. Inhale, reach the arms up towards the ceiling, open your chest. Exhale, fold forward. This is all the same. Inhale, lengthen your spine, whichever variation you'd like, fingertips down or maybe hands on shins. Exhale, step back to plank, bend both knees, flatten your feet and shift forward, chaturanga, elbows in towards the body, lower the chest all the way down towards your mat and you'll find a baby cobra on your inhale. Hands by your shoulders, reach your chest through your arms, keeping the elbows in tight. Now you'll bend your knees, either coming back to tabletop on your exhale or downward facing dog. Three to five breaths, holding here. Then you'll gaze forward, step to the front of your mat, Lengthen your spine, inhale, and exhale, fold. And inhale, reach your arms up towards the ceiling. Exhale, hands to heart center. All right, let's give Sun A another go with one breath per movement a little quicker. Mountain pose or Tadasana at the front of your mat. Inhale, reach the arms up towards the ceiling. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, step back to plank. Shift forward, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra if you're modifying. Exhale, back to downward facing dog. Three deep breaths. Shoulders widen along your back. Good, if you'd like to bend your knees here, you can. Again, another modification coming on to all fours. Gaze forward, step or jump to the front of your mat. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach the arms up towards the ceiling. Exhale, hands to heart center 
or by your side. Deep breath in through the nose and exhale out through the mouth. Sun A, also known as Surya Namaskara A, begins and ends the same as the classical sun salutation. Sun B is a little bit more challenging, but we will get there soon. Sun salutations are usually done in vinyasa flow classes as transitions from one sequence to the next. They're a great way to energize and strengthen the whole body. So tomorrow when the sun comes out, why don't you give Sun A a try and see how it goes? Feel the light and feel the energy. Thank you for tuning in to JillyFit. See you next time. One more thing. Extra credit if you can spot my sidekick throughout my video. Comment below.